welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the final video in my gift giving series for 2019. Um, so if you haven't seen the other videos in this series, this is number four. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys everything that they are getting in their stockings. And then I'm going to, at the end, I'm going to show you what's going to be in our Christmas Eve box this year. I'm going to start out with Addison. She always ends up with the most stocking stuffers. And I think it's just because she's a girl and girls have lots of cute little things that fit into stockings. The first thing that I got for her for her stocking is an LOL doll. She likes LOL dolls kind of. <laughs> um, she loves any toy that has the element of surprise. And so she really likes to unbox LOL dolls and put them together and dress them up. And then she kind of doesn't play with them again. So we don't buy a ton of these, but she enjoys them for like the day that she gets them. <laughs> um, and so I got her one of these fluffy pet lols this time um she's only ever had the girl little girls before and so i thought it might be fun for her to get one of the pets this time just to switch it up the next thing that i got for addison is one of these crazy aaron thinking putties i have seen these in the stores a lot and i've actually seen these in several other people's gift videos and my kids have never tried these um, and so I thought it would be a fun thing to try out this year. I got her the Mystifying Mermaid one. <laughs> and so it's like different colors of blue. And I think you can like twist them together and play with it. And hopefully she will like this. She's really into slime, which I hate. <laughs> but... She likes it, and so hopefully she will like this. I'm excited to see what she thinks about it. The next thing that I got Addie is a weird thing to get in a stocking, but it's something she's been asking for. So my kids take their lunches to school pretty much every single day because they're really picky eaters. And Addie takes a Nutella sandwich for lunch literally almost every single day. And she's been asking me to get her a little like thermos mug, like those little thermoses, so she can take some hot food for lunch. What a strange like Christmas gift. But at Walmart, I found this Jojo Siwa thermos. And it's really cute. And so I got her this for her stocking and that way she can take things for lunch that are hot now, which she's never been able to do before. So hopefully she will be excited to see that I got her one of those because she has been asking for one. So got her that. The next thing I grabbed for her stocking are a couple of little art books. Um, I got these at the Target dollar spot. Um, Addie really likes art. Um, and so I thought these were cute. They were $3. They come with their own little pins. And I just thought they were cute. They have stickers inside and different coloring pages um, and like mazes and different things. I don't know. So I got just grabbed her two of those. I thought it would be a cute thing for her to get in her stocking. Every Christmas morning we have to drive like an, about an hour away or not like for lunch. We go to Christmas lunch at my grandma's house. So I kind of envisioned her taking these books to do in the car on the way there. I don't know. I just thought that you can't go wrong with some art stuff for Christmas. So grabbed her those. The next thing I got is kind of a wild card. I don't know if she'll like this or not, but I saw these at Target and I actually got um, her and Landon both won. Um, and it's a Rubik's Cube, just like the traditional Rubik's Cube. My kids have never had one of these before, but I think that they might enjoy like fiddling with it. 
Um, I've never been good at Rubik's Cubes. Have you guys, can, do you know how to solve them? Because I don't, but I do think they're really fun. And so I saw these and I just grabbed them one um, and thought it might be a fun thing to kind of keep them busy that they could get in their stocking. So got her that. So I usually get my kids all a movie in their stocking every year, but this year I actually ended up using the movie that I got Addison in our Christmas Eve box. So she doesn't have a movie anymore. However, I did get her a new video game um, and this is for the Xbox and it's called Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled. And it just looked like a fun like racing game, kind of like Mario Kart, but with different characters. Um, and hopefully she'll really like this. And um, the kids play Xbox sometimes. The only game we really have for them right now is Minecraft and they do love playing that. So hopefully she'll be excited to get a new game that she can do on the Xbox. Oh, and I got this on Black Friday and it was on sale. Um, I think it was like $25, so not super cheap, but for an Xbox game, pretty cheap. So grabbed her that for her stocking. The next thing I got for her, I know she's gonna love 100%. It's right up her alley. It's from Target and it is a case for her phone. Yes, she has a phone. Yes, I monitor it very closely and strictly and have all the settings that I need to have on there to make sure she is safe and doing only things that she should be doing. Um, <laughs> but, she is gonna love this case. It's really cute and it's from Target and it's the More Than Magic line. Um, and it's just like a rubbery, cute little kitty unicorn case. What more could an eight year old want? I don't know, but that's really cute. Okay, the next thing I got her is ridiculous, but we, anytime we go in Walmart, she grabs this and begs me for it. <laughs> And it is this gumball machine. I don't know why she thinks it's so cool, but she does. And she asks for it every single time. So I got it and I'm gonna put it in her stocking. I think that you have to put money in it. Yeah, it says it takes dimes, nickels, and pennies. So I guess you have to put like a coin in to be able to get a gumball. So I don't know, she loves it. I got it for her. She's gonna be excited. The next thing I got, as I said, I hate slime, but she loves it. So I grabbed her one of these little cupcake Nickelodeon slime things. It is just a big bucket of slime, but I thought it was kind of cute how it's a cupcake and it's like white with sprinkles. So she will love this. It is pretty cute and hopefully it will not end up smashed into our carpet. Fingers crossed. Next thing I grabbed for Addie is a new Jojo bow. <laughs> I mentioned in her gift giving video that she is not quite as into Jojo Siwa as she was last year. However, she does still like wearing bows. I do still put her in a bow almost every single day for school. And so I saw this one at JCPenney and I thought it was really fun and I like the sparkly little bow in the middle. So I got her that for her stocking. The next thing I got her, um, I do kind of like to get, like if I get the kids a present for Christmas, but it has like maybe an accessory that comes with it or um, a little extra piece or something, I like to put those in their stocking. That way, if they open their stockings before their gifts and they get something, they're like, I don't have whatever this goes with. That it's kind of like a little hint to something that they are gonna open later. Um, I hope that made sense. But she's getting a Polaroid camera for Christmas. And so I just got her a little pack of Polaroid camera film to put in her stocking so she'll have some extra film to go with her camera. So that's gonna be in there. Two more things. I grabbed her just this cute little 
glittery unicorn hand sanitizer. I thought she could put this on her backpack and take it to school. I think I grabbed this at Target. Um, yeah, it's that more than magic line from Target. And then last but not least, I got her a pack of earrings. They are all just little studs in all different colors. Um, and these are from Walmart and they're the Time and True brand and they were $4.88, so super cheap. But she does have her ears pierced and so I thought she might like getting some new earrings. That's everything in Addison's stocking apart from her snacks. We'll do those at the end. Um, but next up is Landon. He is my five-year-old. Let me move this box. Oh, there's more boxes. <laughs> okay, Landon is my five-year-old. He doesn't have a ton of stuff in his stocking, sadly. Um, but I'll show you what he's got. The first thing that Landon got is the Rubik's Cube. So him and Addie are both getting one of those. I hope they enjoy these. If not, I might steal one and like play with it myself because I'm really intrigued by it. Um, so hopefully that'll be a hit. The next thing I got for Landon is um, he is also getting one of the Aaron's, uh, Crazy Aaron's Thinking Putty. His is called Super Scarab, Scarab, Scarab. I don't know, how do you say that? But it's kind of like this oily, purpley, bluish gray one. And I thought it was kind of cool. So I got him that, hopefully he will like that. I bet he will. The next thing I got for Landon is a thing to go with one of his gifts. He is getting a Spider-Man web, like silly string web launcher. And I got him a refill of the silly string to go with that. So when he runs out of the one that came with it, he'll have a backup. So that's gonna be in his stocking. Next up is another thing to go with one of his gifts. He is getting a couple of Nerf guns for Christmas. And so I just got him a little pack of extra Nerf bullets because any other moms out there am I right or am I right you buy the guns and 10 seconds later all the bullets are gone and you can't find them anywhere <laughs> um or they're everywhere and you can't walk a single step without stepping on one it's one or the other there's no in between but anyway I got him an extra pack of these for his stocking I also got Landon a video game. This one is Lego Worlds, and this one was only $15 on Black Friday, so that was a good deal. Um, and I think you just like build your own world out of Legos, which I think is cool, and I think that will be like a good one for Landon's age, hopefully, that he'll be able to do. Um, and I like that it's not like killing people, <laughs> hopefully. Um, so I got him that on Black Friday for his stocking. I did also get him a movie. Um, I just grabbed him the Teen Titans Go versus Teen Titans movie. Um, we have a DVD player in our car that we watch when we're on like long car drives. And so most of the time when we watch a movie, it's in the car. And so I just thought he might like to get a new movie and the kids both, big kids both like Teen Titans. So I got that for Landon. Next thing I got for his stocking, if you've watched his video, he's getting a phone for Christmas. Um, go to that video to watch that disclaimer. Um, but I grabbed him a OtterBox Defender Pro case on Black Friday, and this was a really good deal. I got this at Walmart for 20 bucks on Black Friday, which I think is an excellent deal for an OtterBox. So I was glad to find that. That's going to be in his stocking. The next thing I got Landon is getting a Treasure X King's Gold playset. And this is a Treasure X King's Gold, like, tr extra treasure chest. 
So it's basically just like an extra piece to go with the set that he's getting. So I grabbed him that. And I think that you like dig in it and find maybe an action figure and some treasure and then it goes with his playset. So I thought that was cool. And then the last thing in Landon's stocking is something he keeps asking for and it is a lightsaber. I got this kind on purpose because it does not make noise, <laughs> um, which is exactly what I prefer. Um, but I think he will really like it. These come out too, but I don't know how to make them come out. But anyway, I got him a lightsaber to go in his stocking. That's everything for Landon's stocking. Last but not least is my little buddy Fisher. He just turned three years old and I don't have him many things <laughs> for his stocking, but here's what I've got. Um, I got him this at Target. It is a candy cane full of Play-Doh. Fisher loves Play-Doh and he got one of those Play-Doh factories for his birthday. So I thought this would be perfect to go with that. Um, it only came with like a couple little tubs of Play-Doh. Um, and so he can use this to go with his little Play-Doh factory. And I thought that was perfect for him. I got him two movies on Black Friday because they were $1.96 or $1.97. Um, and so I just got him two of the Ice Age movies. One is a Christmas special and the other one is Ice Age Collision Course. I think the Ice Age movies are all cute. Kids love them. And I just grabbed these for Fisher. Thought they would be great for his stocking. The next thing I got him um, does go with one of his gifts. He is getting a Lightning McQueen, like Cars racetrack, um, and it's the Drag Racing series. And so I got him a few cars to go with it. The first one that I got is Lil, Little Torky, this little blue guy. So that's gonna be in his stocking. I also got him nitroid, nitroid, maybe it's nitroid, nitroid, this little orange car, he's cute, and then I got him Cruz Ramirez, little yellow car, and the set comes with Lightning McQueen, so he'll have um, four cars total to go with his little racetrack. Um, so that will be great. And then the last thing that's not candy, probably won't even fit in his stocking, but it is this baby shark. Fisher loves the baby shark song and he sings it all the time and he wants me to sing it and he'll tell me which character he wants to do next. Um, and you, this one is like a puppet and you move your hand and it sings. So that is the last thing that I got for him for his stocking. And I know he's going to love that. Um, he loves that song. And then last but not least, I'll show you guys the candy that I got for their stockings. Um, because when I was a kid, my stocking was full of candy. And it was usually what I was most excited about. So every year, my mom or my husband, one of them will get me Ferrero Rocher chocolates because they're amazing and they're my favorite. But the kids always end up trying to steal them from me. So this year, I got them their own. <laughs> well, the big kids anyway. I didn't get fish or any of these, but I got the big kids both a pack of their own Ferrero Rocher chocolates. That way, they will keep their grubby little paws off of mine. And these are delicious, let's be honest. So, got them both one of those. I got all three of the kids a big pa or a pack of these Lifesaver gummies. Um, I got the big kids both a big box and I got Fisher a smaller pack um, of these because I thought this would be something he could eat without making a gigantic mess, hopefully. <laughs> um, but I got them all one of those. I also got all three of them one of these big chocolate Santas. These were from Walmart, just a dollar each. 
And they're the like crispy, double crisp milk chocolate Santas. So I got all of them one of those for their stocking. Another thing that I only got for the big kids, I got them both a pack of bubble tape. I loved bubble tape when I was a kid and they both love it too. Um, I just got Landon a blue one and Addie the red one. Thought they would like those in their stocking. Um, I got Fisher this big Rice Krispie treat to put in his stocking. He likes Rice Krispie treats. And I also got him a little candy cane full of Skittles. Um, I didn't get those for the big kids, just for Fisher. I got all three of them one of these little push pops. I got Addie the little Christmas tree. Fisher the little penguin. And Landon the Santa Claus. All kids love these little push pops. So got them all one of those. And last but not least, I get these every year, the little chocolate gold coins. I got them all a pack of those for their stockings. And that is everything for their stockings done. I'm so thankful to have this done ahead of time. And the very last thing that I have to show you guys is our Christmas Eve box. Um, this is something that I've been doing for about maybe like five years now. Um, and I love it. It's one of my favorite traditions. I wrap one present that the kids open on Christmas Eve. It's um, one present for all, like, there's only one box and all three of them open the one box and it's for the whole family. So each year, this is going to be our box this year. I have to, still have to wrap it. But inside every year, we get matching family pajamas and we will all put on our jammies. And then usually in our box, we will have a movie to watch together on Christmas Eve, a book to read on Christmas Eve, and snacks to, to like make or eat while we are watching our movie. And I, it's just one of my favorite traditions. So this year, poor Fisher's getting left out again, but they didn't have his name, but I saw these at Target and it's just the night before Christmas story, but they had them personalized. And so I grabbed an Addison and a Landon. And of course, we'll just read the story um, all together, but then the kids can keep the one that has their name in it. And I think that even like within the story, it adds the kids' names in here and there. So like here's Santa's list says Addison on it. So I thought that was really cute. Like each page tries to throw their name in there, which makes it special. Um, but they didn't have a Fisher, so I could only get two of them. And then for our movie this year, um, Secret Life of Pets 2. Um, I got this on Black Friday. I was originally going to buy this full price. Um, and I waited and then I saw it on Black Friday and I got it for $8, which was a steal. So um, this will be our Christmas Eve movie this year, which they will be excited about. I usually put in a like cookie making kit or like a bag of cookies to make for Santa and we'll do that that night, but I haven't gotten those yet. But just for now in our box, I have some hot chocolate so we can all make hot chocolate on Christmas Eve. And then I also have like popcorn for us to make while we watch our movie. We can drink hot chocolate, bake cookies for Santa and eat some popcorn for our movie. So that's what I've got in there for now. I may add some more snacks. But last but not least is our pajamas, which I'm really excited about. Last year we did flannel. Uh, maybe I'll insert a picture here of all of us wearing our matching jammies. Isn't that fun? Um, but this year, in honor of Frozen 2 coming out, which we still haven't seen by the way, but I plan on going really soon, um, I got us all Frozen pajamas. And um, here's Addison's. She is going to be Elsa, and they're all onesies. So this is her Elsa onesie, and like the the hood is Elsa's hair, and you see like the braid comes down. 
But anyway, this is Addison's. Hers is the only one that isn't in a package because they were sold out of her size online. So I had to buy hers in the store at Kohl's. I got these all at Kohl's. But Addison's gonna be Elsa. This one is mine. I'm gonna be Anna. And I'll just have to show y'all the picture. I got extra large, so it would be like super comfy. Um, but this is what mine looks like. I'm gonna be Anna. So cute. Jeff, my husband, is gonna be Sven, the moose. And so like his little hat has antlers. You can see his little eyes right there. How cute. So Jeff's gonna be Sven. And then both of the boys are going to be Olaf. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited about these. That is gonna be so cute. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be our Christmas Eve box. I'm so excited that it's almost Christmas. Um, let me got, let me know if you guys have any like cute family traditions um, and what those are. Um, the only other tradition I can think of that we do is that we generally will eat breakfast for dinner on Christmas Day. Like the last couple of years, we've like after going to like my grandma's house for lunch and eating Christmas lunch or Christmas dinner. Um, it's really lunch, but we'll be starving by the time that we come home and we'll end up stopping and eating breakfast at Waffle House for dinner. Um, so that's just another little tradition, but I love our Christmas Eve tradition and I would love to come up with more traditions um, for our family to do around Christmas. So let me know what some of yours are. Anyway, that is the end of all of my Christmas videos for 2019. I can't believe this is the end. Please go watch my other gift giving videos if you haven't already and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. I'm getting so close to 2,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Thank you guys. Um, and I hope that you have a really happy new year. I'll see you in 2020. Bye.